Well, welcome again to another podcast, Down to Earth, but Heavenly Minded. I'm your host, Irv Risch. And as we continue on in our reading in the inner chamber, in the inner life by Andrew Murray, we come to chapter 31, The Holy Trinity. With that said, let us continue our reading. For this cause I bow my knee to the Father, that he would grant you that ye may be strengthened with power through his Spirit in the the inward man, that Christ may dwell in your heart through faith, to the end that ye be rooted and grounded in love, and may be strong to know the love of Christ, which passeth knowledge, that ye may be filled with unto all the fullness of God, now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundant above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us, the Holy Spirit. Into him be the glory in Christ Jesus for ever and ever. Amen. Ephesians 3, verses 14 through 21. These words have often and not without good reason, been regarded as one of the highest expressions of what the life of a believer may be on earth. As yet, this view is not without its dangers. It is uh, uh, fostered the idea that the attainment of such an experience is to be regarded as something uh, exceptional and distance and hid uh, and hides the blessing, blessed truth that through uh, uh, in various degrees it yet is meant to be certain and immediate heritage of every child of God. Each morning, each believer has as much the right as the need to say, My Father will strengthen me today with power, is strengthen me, even now, in the inner man, uh, through his spirit. Each day, we are to be uh, content with nothing less than the indwelling of Christ by faith, a life rooted in love, and made strong to know the love of Christ. Each day, we believe that the blessed work Uh, of being filled in which all the fullness of God is being uh, prepared and carried on and accomplished in us. And each day we ought to be strong in the faith of God's power and be giving him glory in God, in in Christ. Uh, Be able to do above what we ask and think according to the power of the Spirit that workings in us. Uh, The words are among many other things remarkable for the way in which they present the truth of the Holy Trinity in the bearing on all practical life. Many Christians understand that it is right and needful at different times in the pursuit of the Christian life to give special attention to the three persons of the Blessed Trinity. They often feel it difficult to combine the various truths in one and to know how to worship uh, the three in one. Our text reveals the wondrous relationship and the perfect unity. We have the Spirit within us as the power of God, and yet He does not work at our will or his own. It is the Father who, according to the riches of his glory, grants us to be strengthened through the spirit of the inward man. It is the Father who does exceedingly abundant above what we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. So far from uh, presented presence of the spirit within us, uh, being to us instead of God, 
He renders us more absolute and unceasingly dependent on the Father. The Spirit can only work as the Father works through him. We need to combine the two truths, a deep uh, revenant, reverting, truthful uh, consciousness of the Holy Spirit in as indwelling with the continuance and dependence waiting on the Father to work through him. Even so, with Christ, we bow our knees to God and Father in the name of the Son. We ask him to strengthen us through the Spirit with the one object that Christ may dwell in our hearts. So, the Son leads uh, to the Father, and the Father again reveals the Son in us. And then again, as the Son dwells in our hearts, and it is rooted and grounded in love, draws its life out of the divine love as its uh, soil, bringing forth fruit, and doing work of love. We are led on to be fulfilled with all the fullness of God. The whole heart with the inner and outer life become a sense of the blessed interchange of the operations of the Holy uh, Three. As our hearts uh, believe this, we give glory through Christ to him who is able to do more than what we think by his Holy Spirit. What a wonderful salvation this of our hearts is the sense. The Father even breathes his Spirit into us and by his daily renewing fits it to be the home of Christ, the Holy Spirit, even revealing the forming Christ within us so that his very nature, his disposition, his character becomes ours. The Son imparts his life and love and leads us on to be filled with the fullness of God. This is meant to be our everyday religion. Oh, let us worship the three-in-one God in the fullness of faith every day. In whatever direction, our Bible study and our prayer leads us. Let this ever be the center from which we go out and to which we return. We were created in the image of the three-in-one God. The salvation by which God restores us is an inward salvation. It is nothing to us if it is not wrought in our hearts and enjoyed there. The God who saves us can do it in no other way than as an indwelling God filling us with all his fullness. Let us worship and wait. Let us believe and give him glory. Have you ever noticed in Ephesians how the three persons of the Trinity are ever mentioned together uh, in Chapter 1, verse 3, the Father, Jesus Christ, uh, uh, spiritual, or the Holy Ghost, blessing. In uh, verses 12 and 13, the Father, to whom the praise of the glory in Christ, seated with the Holy Spirit. Verse 17, the Father, our Lord Jesus, the Spirit of wisdom. Uh, chapter 218, access through Christ in one spirit to the Father. Uh, verse 22, in Christ, the habitation of God through, through the Spirit. Uh, in chapter 3, verses 4 through 9, the mysteries of Christ hid in God, preached by the grace of God, revealed by the Spirit. Uh, chapter uh, 4, verses six, 4 to 6, uh, one Spirit, one Lord, one God, and Father. Chapter 5, verses 18 through uh, 20. 
filled with the Spirit, giving thanks to God in the name of Christ. In uh, chapter 6, verses 10 through 18, uh, strong in the Lord, the whole armor of God, the sword of the Spirit, praying in the Spirit. You know, as you study and compare these verses and seek to gather up their teaching in some truth and humble uh, concept of the glory of our God, notice especially uh, what an intensely practice truth this of the holy trinity is scriptural teaches little of its mystery in the divine nature almost all it has to say uh, has reference to god's work in us and our faith and experience uh, of his salvation you know a true faith in the trinity will make us strong bright a God-possessed Christian. The divine spirit makes himself one with our life and inner being, and blessed Son dwells in us as the way to perfect fellowship with God. The Father, through the Spirit and the Son, working out day by day his purpose, that we be filled with all the fullness of God. Let us bow our needs unto the Father. Then the mystery of the Trinity will be known and experienced. And that ends the reading today. Until next time, bye for now.